Okay, I'm fine. making a hell? video. Shit, look, I got a fucking puppet. Uh, can right you see I'm making a video? Is this yours, you little puppet? <laughs> no. Okay, fine. Jesus yes. Christ. You don't. So what? Fine. No, I no don't respect. Got a problem. I'll get out of here. Don't worry about it. I'm out of here. What do you get? Give me the puppet. Give me the puppet. Dr. Russell Barkley from, um, Dr. Russell A. Barkley, PhD, an internationally recognized authority on attention deficit disorder. He is a clinical professor of psychiatry and pediatrics at the Medical University of South Carolina in Charleston. He says ADD is not an attention disorder, it's a blindness to the future. It is myopia to the impending future events. You are nearsighted in time, which means that the adult or the child is going to wait until the future is imminent. And then they'll try to deal with it. But as long as the future stays out there, I don't gotta deal with it. But I can't do much about it until it's the 11th hour. He goes on to say that the back part of the brain acquires knowledge and the front part is what puts it in play. And ADD is kind of like a, a meat cleaver that just separates that. It doesn't let it, you know, flow together so you can do what you gotta do. So it doesn't matter what you know, you just can't use it as effectively as other people can. So you may know how to lose weight, you may know what to do, you may know that you have to work three times a week, you may know that you have to eat the right foods, but you can't do it. But that's just an example as far as eating is concerned. In all areas of life, people who have ADD have a hard time continuing stuff and finishing things. And they have the wrong perception of time. Uh, that's why they're always a few minutes late to everything all the time. And it's just chronic and it just makes you fail and it's really miserable. And it's not that you're lazy or that you're stupid or retarded. It's just that you have some sort of chemical imbalance that doesn't let you do it. Now, yeah, someone could say, hey, that's just a friggin' excuse. But you know what? Nobody could tell me that I'm being lazy or stupid. But you can put your comments down below if you want to tell me that. I don't care. I'll read them. He gives a metaphor. It's um, like the person is a rocket ship, and it's on the launch pad. It has everything it needs to go on board, computerize all the latest state of equipment. It's all ready to go. But it just doesn't have any fuel. So it doesn't go far. some healthy information I can give you, very valuable stuff. Take it, because it really is recommended. By who? By Dr. Joel Furman, Gomes. Uh, last episode I was having my Gomes salad. Well, I'm supposed to have it every day, and so really should you. Gomes is an acronym for greens, onions, mushrooms, beans, berries, and seeds. They're one of the most nutrient-based foods on the planet. But you can check out the description below for more detailed information. What is this? Nutrition program? What the hell? I don't know what kind of channel this is. What is it? Is it instructional about health? Is it about ADD? Or is it just about me and being an idiot? I'm fat. Just lose the goddamn weight. Hey, thanks for watching. And please, I encourage you to leave a comment. And don't forget, if you like, subscribe. 